Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to start covering the topic coordinate points in lines. Now first of all, look at this diagram in which there is a line lying on the x-axis and y-axis. As we know, x-axis axis is the horizontal axis and y-axis is the vertical axis. There are two points A and B and the line joining them is called a line segment. X and Y are the X coordinate and Y coordinate. So here X1 is the coordinate of first point on the X axis and similarly X2 is the X coordinate of second point. Same goes with the Y1 and Y2. We can find out the length of the line segment which is also called the distance between the two points by using the formula that is under root x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Now we will look at some questions in which we have to find out the length of the line segment. Now look at the questions in which we are given two coordinates. The first coordinates are 2 and 5 and the second coordinates are 7 and 17. Here x1 is equal to 2, x2 is equal to 7, y1 is equal to 5 and y2 is equal to 17. Now by putting these values into the formula which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 y1 minus 5 1 whole square under root we will have 7 minus 2 whole square plus 17 minus 5 whole square under the root now by further solving we will have 5 square 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 plus 12 square now further solving we will have the value 169 root and the answer comes out as 13 now look at another question in which the coordinates are given as minus 3, minus 3 and minus 7 and 3. Here x1 is equals to minus 3, x2 is equals to minus 7, y1 is equals to minus 3 and y2 is equals to 3. By putting these values in the formula we have x2 minus x1 which become minus 7 minus and minus 3 is the value of x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 which is 3 minus minus 3 and again minus 3 is the value of pi1 so we have put it as it is whole square. Now we have minus 7 plus 3 as minus minus is equal to plus so it becomes plus 3 minus 7 plus 3 whole square plus 3 plus 3 similarly minus minus become plus so it becomes 3 plus 3 now further solving we will have minus 7 plus 3 is equal to minus 4 whole square plus 3 plus 3 6 whole square as we know that whenever we take a square means we are multiplying 4 with the 4 which means minus sign also get multiplied two times and become plus and the answer comes out as 16 plus 66 six, so 36 which is equal to 16 plus 36 and the answer is root 52. Now here is another question which involves variables and the coordinates are 12a 5p and 3a 5p. Here x1 is equals to 12a, y1 is equals to 5p, x2 is equals to 3a and y2 is equals to 5b. By using the formula which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 y1 minus y1 whole square root we will have under root 3a minus 12a whole square plus 5p minus 5p whole square. Here we will have uh, minus 9a whole square plus 0 and by further solving we will have 81a square which comes out as 9a and this is our answer. 
Here is another question. In which the coordinates are given as a plus 1, 2a plus 3 and a minus 1 and 2a minus 1. So here x1 is equals to a plus 1, x2 is equals to a minus 1, y1 is equals to 2a plus 3 and y2 is equals to 2a minus 1. By putting them into the formula which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, we will have under the root a minus 1 minus a plus 1 whole square plus 2a minus 1 minus 2a plus 3 whole square. First here we solve the brackets and by opening the brackets we will have under the root a minus 1 minus a minus 1 whole square plus 2a minus 1 minus 2a minus 3 whole square. Now a will be cancelled out with a in the first bracket and 2a will cancel out with minus 2a in the second bracket. We will remain with the values under the root minus 2 whole square plus minus 4 whole square. As we know that whenever minus multiplies with the minus it becomes plus. So here 2 square becomes plus 4 and minus 4 square becomes 16. Now the answer is root 20. In another question we are given the coordinate as p plus 4q, p minus q and p minus 3q and p. So x1 is equals to p plus 4q, y1 is equals to p minus q, x2 is equals to p minus 3q and y2 is equals to p. Now putting these values into the formula, we will have under the root p minus 3q minus p plus 4q whole square plus p minus p minus q whole square. Now first we solve the brackets and we will have p minus 3q minus p minus 4q whole square plus p minus p and minus minus plus q whole square. Now p will cancel out with the p in the first bracket and p will cancel out with the p in the second bracket as well. Now we have under the root minus 7q which is the resultant of minus 3q and minus 4q whole square plus q square. Now 7q whole square is equals to 49 and minus minus whole square become plus so it becomes plus 49q square plus q square. So it becomes 50q square. If we remove the root from the q, the answer become root 50 q.